Hey, you can enroll to this course for flat $10.99. And to enroll for this course with this discount, you have to click the link given in the description. And not only that, you can also get this course for completely free if you want to become our partner. And to become our partner, you have to fill the Google form given in the description. And please do read the description of the Google form before becoming our partner. You know, this button which is available here that is having three lines is what we call as mobile menu when you click that you will get an option to manage the menu navigate so these two options we have just uh, learned in the previous video talking about the settings when you click on this you will get an option to freeze this menu what is freezing the menu with the help of freezing when you just check this option called freeze menu what happens is that even though you scroll down the your web page on your mobile website what happens is that this menu bar will be placed right here the position that you have set now so even though it's just scrolling down down to the more courses section even there this button will be visible so that is what we meant by freeze menu and talking about the design just click on that now he, here you can find the different mobile menus so right now we are we have just choose this option and let us click on customize design when you click on customize design you will find about four preset designs for this one is a drop down menu which means that when you click on the menu it will just drop down different options in this way and uh, right now we have selected this design which occupies the complete mobile screen Another two options are showing the menu half of the screen and uh, where should be it open from the right or from the left and these are the, the two different designs. There are about two behaviors of your menu bar. One is the uh, open menu bar which you are seeing right now and another one is the close menu bar. When you click on close you can find the three buttons that are visible here. So right now it is having a white color and uh, we have a uh, zero opacity for the background and we don't have any borders you can add them if you want and you can decide the spacing between each and every line available there and even you can decide the length of each line that is visible here talking about the open behavior of the mobile menu so here you can see that we have a x symbol displaying here and uh, the separator length which means that this this length the line the, the length of this line if you will just increase that its length will also increase oh nope separator separator color okay right so you this is the way you can just decide its color and this is the place where you can just decide its length you can increase its length or decrease its length in the way that you want and you can even decide its width okay I want it to be 2 and I can decide its color here talking about the text right now it is black in color and uh, selected page color is sky blue and I don't like that color so I will go by selected page color as orange and you can decide the font size, font type, face, and where the text is aligned. You can just decide all those options are available here. Right now it's center aligned. You can just choose to be aligned from the left hand side or right hand side. But it's better to be aligned to the center. these are the different options available as the menu bar is good by itself so I'm just leaving it in this way so this was a small video on how you can customize the menu bar of your mobile version hope you have found it helpful see you in the next video bye bye